What's up guys? It's your boy True Exit of 7 here. And uh recently here on the YouTube channel I did a suitcase breakdown for my wrestling gear. Gonna have to do an, an updated one of those soon because I got a new suitcase, got some new gear, got some new stuff. But today the wife who's behind the camera right now and myself have been going through a lot of our old wrestling gear uh to put on our wrestling pages to sell off to some of you guys, the audience that watch. So I thought it was really cool, some of the stuff we were finding. So I wanted to go through it a little bit with everyone and kind of show you guys what we had found. So this is a, a pirate t-shirt that uh, the wife wore when we were doing our pirate gimmicks. Um, these are just knee pads, elbow pads. This is pretty neat. So uh, they're inside out right now for whatever reason. But uh, these are my old kick pads. Um, I wore these kick pads for a very long time. They're very tore up. They were originally white, and then the wife went through with, like, green and blue Sharpies and drew all over them. And then I got this white and black gear, so I took black fabric paint and painted down that. And so I have another one of these laying around in here somewhere. That's a dryer sheet to try to make everything smell good, but this bag does not smell great, you know. Uh, but then here's an old set of tights. Uh, this is the first set of tights I wore at our first ever CHWA's first ever Casey Hall show. Uh, the seams are coming apart. Um, they're just generic. Just, I think these are actually like Hollister tights or something, but, uh, at the time I was kind of running with purple gear. So this fit the gear pretty well. And then, uh, we have one of the old masks that, uh, has been passed around the CHWA locker room time and time and time again. This is the wife's old skeleton shirt. Um, she had a pair of skeleton tights uh, to go along with my pair and also her pair of these red and black skeleton tights. Um, I won the adrenaline title on these things. I believe, didn't you wear these when you won the uh, cruiserweight championship? You know, and I'm going to those pictures now and I actually had a different pair of red tights. That... Gotcha. Because I know the wife has wore a lot of red and black. Um, I've wore some red and black. Those I'm still trying example. to find pictures of me in the uh, skeleton tights. Yeah. So. And then these, uh, these are probably my most recent retired set of tights. Um, these were the first uh, Dragon's Creed tights that got made. Um, they were really bright and vibrant when we first got them. Found out very quickly that the material that we used while it is good and stretchy uh was not good um for wrestling and, and actual um combat <laughs> so but uh we got the 8795 there that's a personal thing between myself and my tag team partner um l ride and we've never told anybody what it means so this is just kind of our thing we've got the dc right here um and yeah these are these will probably never be seen again on camera because uh, they're just tore up they're just tore up badly um, and then I've got these, um, which are some of my original fight shorts, uh, release the beast or whatever. And then it says eat, sleep, wrestle on the back. I got these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And then I take back what I said earlier. These are my most retired tights. Um, the wife is popular today. So, uh, they say Exodus down the side. The S actually fell off of these tights. Uh, and then again, you know, 87.95. Uh, the wife actually made these, did a pretty good job on them, if I do say so myself, they're comfortable, uh, just didn't hold up as long as we wanted them to, unfortunately. These, though, these are my favorite, this is the one I wanted to show everyone, so, when we first started wrestling, years and years ago, uh, I was just but a boy, right, I had no money, I didn't even have a job, so I couldn't really afford wrestling gear that was, uh, top of the line, top notch, you know what I'm saying, so what I did was I, I went to Walmart and I found black basketball shorts and I got letters. I put Chris down one side and Exodus down the other. Now these things don't fit anymore. Uh, they're way too big now. Um, they've been stretched out all to hell. Uh, the elastic in them is just completely shot. Like if I do this, they get even wider. So these things, they'll never fit again. Uh, but I can't, I just can't bring myself to get rid of them because they are my legitimate first uh first pair of, of wrestling tights so it's pretty well it so far for me um we've of course got you know the old pop figure chris exodus knee pad cover uh i haven't wore that in a long time uh since i cut my hair really oh here we go here's the wife's tights i was telling you guys about the, those black and white ones 
to go along with her um, her uh, shirt and whatnot. So a lot of uh, a lot of good memories with these ones too. So it's always fun when we go through things, and and I can almost tell you what everything in this bag goes to. Um, that's a T-shirt of some kind. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I've got so much cool stuff in here, so much cool stuff, so this was another knee pad cover to go along with my pop, and so yeah, so that's pretty well it for me, um, trying to find if there's any more tights or anything in here, that's a, an elbow sleeve, I think that's it for tights, honestly. Yeah, I think that's it for tights. Oh, one more pair, one more pair, I just found these, so... There's a good backstory to these. So me and my sister, Dash the Dynasty, uh, were a tag team. She really was into galaxy stuff, as was I. Um, and we, we got these. These were uh, custom made, I do believe. Uh, and it's just galaxy stuff with crosses all over them. The crosses have a special meaning to me and Dash. Nobody else knows about that either. Um, so that's that was something me and my old tag team for. There's no way these would fit me now. Look, look there's no... I've gained a lot of weight. So I think when I wore these, I was 115, 120 pounds. I'm now 142. So, wouldn't fit anymore. But, uh, Dash, if you do see this, I love you. I miss you. Have a, I, I talk to Dash a lot, but, you know, we don't get to hang out very often. So, and the last pair of tights I'll show off here. These were the wife's. Uh, she wore these uh, to most of her first independent wrestling show bookings, if I remember correctly. I wish I still uh, had pictures. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I can find some. So, uh, she wore these a lot. Um, these definitely got the job done. They're really thick material. They stretch real easy. Um, so, it just goes to show, man, like, people, people will always knock you uh, for your wrestling gear and stuff, uh, for being cheap and... and uh, you know, not being fully custom made, but it doesn't always matter. Like I've got, um, over here, I have these next to my suitcase in case I need to break them out anytime soon. These are a pair of kick pads. Uh, they're snakeskin kick pads. Uh, the reason these aren't in this bag is because technically these aren't retired. Uh, I only wore these for, I think three matches, uh, three or four matches. And then I got my new winged tip pair. So, uh, or my spike pair, whatever. And I haven't, um, haven't got all the use out of these I want, so I keep these by my suitcase because I'll be interchanging these in and out um, between bookings and stuff. So, so that's pretty much it, man. This is our classic wrestling gear. Um, Maddie's got a couple shirts that she, I believe, is going to start selling here soon uh, with her retro gear. It's Cruiserweight Queen, My Empire, My Division on the back. That is the wife's old shirt. And then we also have this shirt. This was fun. One of the old companies, they were establishing a cruiserweight division, so uh, cruiserweights matter. So, um, so that's pretty well it, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, for all my returning viewers, make sure to hit the like button. Appreciate all you guys, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So until the next one, here on the YouTube, peace, love, and zombie slang to all of you guys. Wonderful, wonderful, true nerd nation. We love you guys so very much, and we will catch you all in the next one. Later.